Jim, who are your biggest musical influences? Uh, initially, as a child, uh, I would have to say the Beatles. They really opened my eyes to rock and roll and popular music as it was at that time in the 1960s. And I didn't play guitar at that time. But as I got older, I grew to love uh, a lot of the blues-influenced rock bands of the day, like the Allman Brothers, the Rolling Stones, uh, a little later ZZ Top, uh, Johnny Winter, Rory Gallagher, Leonard Skinner, uh, bands of that style, and I was always intrigued by the blues cover, so I started like looking at the composer credits and on the sleeve of the album, and I would begin to investigate those artists like T-Bone Walker and Lightning Hopkins, and of course B.B. King, <clears throat> and. Uh, once I started playing guitar, all those bands came into play as influences, as well as a lot of the arena rock bands of the 70s, Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd, ACDC, I even like the Ramones, I love that energy. But when it all came back down to it, I, I, the blues really spoke to me because it was simple, it always seemed to tell a truthful story, and it was something you could relate to. It, it wasn't always a sad music, I think that's a misconception about it. Uh, it's just, it's music that tells the truth about you know the human condition so I always related to that even as a kid and even more so as I got older and uh, it's funny because I had the first Destroyers album it was on my first road trip ever in a in a band I guess it was probably I've been 1981 and I went to Nashville we went to Nashville and we went to somebody's house and they started playing the Move It On Over album which I absolutely loved and then uh, probably later that year, must have been later that year, I'd gone to New Orleans to see the Rolling Stones. And on the bill was the Neville Brothers, George Thorogood, the Destroyers, and the Rolling Stones. So my first introduction to George in a live context was at the Superdome in New Orleans, uh, opening for the Rolling Stones, and which was a fantastic concert. It was a you know, pivotal moment for me. And then fast forward nine years and he hears me in a bar in Memphis and you fast forward nine more years and I, I joined the band so I think it was kind of a it was serendipity it was like everything came full circle I thought that was great